weird family secret that you didn't know about till you were older. <laughs> Buckle up, kids. When I was 15, I found out I had a younger brother. My mother had me at about 16 years old, so she was in and out of my life all throughout my childhood, leaving me to be raised by my great-grandma. Love ya. But later on in my teen years, despite all the trauma and emotional abuse she caused me, I really wanted some sort of relationship with her. So when she was married to her third husband, I went to the celebration at their neighborhood bar. Not long into the party, she gets absolutely hammered. And me getting sick of her bullshit, I just walk home. An hour or so after I get home, she gets dropped off. She came in screaming, yelling, knocking things over, raising all sorts of hell. Finally, I get her sitting on the couch and calm, and that's when she crawls up to me and whispers in my ear, You look just like your brother! Me thinking she's just so drunk she misgendered my sister, I asked her, You mean my sister? No, your brother. He's like a few years younger than you. What? Part two coming up. Secret brother story, part two. So after that bombshell of information, she passes the fuck out. I chalk it up to just drunken nonsense. Later on, I tell my great-grandmother, and we have a grand old laugh. But she ends up confronting my mother, asking, Is this true? And it fucking was. As I mentioned before, my mother was in and out of my life and would be gone for months at a time. When I was about three years old, my great-grandmother remembers asking her, Are you pregnant? You're looking a little. Are you pregnant? Turns out she was, but she hid it very well. So once the baby was born, she gave him up for adoption. So by the time I'm learning all of this at 15, the only other person who would have known about this, who would have helped her facilitate that adoption, was already dead. So legit, no one in my family knew until then. And I guess it was a closed adoption, so all we had was his first name and a partial last name she couldn't exactly remember, so it was kind of hard to track him down. Years go by and it just becomes another weird family story. Then my first rocky year living in Los Angeles, guess who tracks me down? Part oh, there's a bug in my wine. So about five or six years ago, my brother's wife at the time reached out to me, thinking she was dropping this bombshell of information. But again, we'd already known for a while, and I was so apathetic about the whole situation, I was like, hey, how you doing? Little side note, you should know that in my family, we deal with things by not dealing with them and just completely disassociating and sweeping it under the rug. So eventually, we ended up having a Skype conversation, and he tells me about his life and how he's always known about me. And then he gets to the question I was dreading. He asks me, what's our mother like? <clears throat> What's she like? I essentially gave him the kids bop version of my childhood and left it at that. I should also note that my mother is completely cut out of my life and blocked on every one of my social media accounts. To this day, my brother and I have yet to meet face to face but still talk occasionally via Instagram. So, here's to meeting him one day. Maybe? Kinda sorta? I don't know. Do I really care? I'm not sure. What's the family tea that you found out once you got older? That my dad got his high school girlfriend pregnant and the story is sad as hell. So for a little bit of background, my dad's family is really big and we went through a phase where we were doing reunions every couple years. And the last reunion that we did, the theme was roots. So it was all about, you know, getting to know our family tree and all of that stuff. So they had a family tree displayed at the hotel and under my dad's name, it was me and my full brother. And then it also had like babies too and then like a year. And I was like walking around going like, what the fuck is this? Like somebody made a mistake, but all of my older cousins were like, Err. so I went to my mom and I'm like, why is everybody being so weird? And she was like, you should probably talk to your dad. So my dad sits my brother and me down and tells us the story how he was dating this white girl when he was like 16 years old and um, she got pregnant and her family, because they were super duper old school, I mean, it was the early 70s, uh, sent her to a home for unwed mothers and forbade her to talk to him. Wherever they sent her was still on Long Island though, so apparently he would like go to sneak in and visit her all the time. I forgot if he said the nurses were cool with it or if they kind of just like worked around it, but uh, yeah, apparently he would go visit her all the time um, up until the babies were born. Uh, if I forgot if I actually mentioned that. It was two babies, by the way. So he did get a call when uh, she was going into labor and he did get to see babies it was two boys and um he he got to spend a little bit of time with them and then he needed to go and then he never saw either of the babies or her again because once she was done you know she she left and she was never allowed to speak to him again 
this reunion was um, about 10 months or so before he died. And while I am not thrilled about the way that I found out, I am still glad that I did because it changed what was a terrible relationship through most of my life for the better. Um, I understood him a lot better. Sorry, I told myself I never cry on this app. Um, and he did spend the rest of his life looking for them. But now he's dead and I don't know a ton of details. The mother of these children um, also passed away, which is its own kind of sad story. She had cancer and my dad tried to reach out to her family and her family still shut him down. So, ugh. And while I don't have many details to go on, um, I'd love to find them, I guess. Um, so that's my family secret. <laughs> What's the family tea that you found out once you got older? I'm embarrassed about this one. <laughs> so when I was 14, my mom passed away and there was one day where I was sitting on the couch with my dad and my sister when I was like 16, 17. And something about the TV show that we were watching made my sister say, oh yeah, like how mom has a daughter that we don't know about. And my family always like plays jokes on each other, okay? And me being the youngest, I always feel played. <laughs> so I completely thought that she was joking. And then my dad like caught on to it and like went along with it. And I did not believe them. <laughs> then when I was a freshman in college, my long lost sister found us. And so it turns out I have a nephew who is a year younger than me. And yeah, a sister that I had no idea existed. <laughs> What's the family tea that you found out once you got older? My aunt stole $25,000 from my great grandma to buy cocaine. And she liked to tell me that I'm the one that's confused. Like, girl, what? You went to jail. What's the family tea that you found out once you got older? I'll go first. So the family tea that I found out, I didn't find out till I was like 20. My grandpa always had this tattoo on his forearm and it was a cross with a bed of roses because he's a Christian, but I was told that it was a cover up and I never knew what it was until I was about 20. Come to find out it was another lady's name, not my grandma's name. And then by the time he went to get it covered up, it was illegal to get tattooed in the United States because there was a portion of history where it was illegal to get tattooed. So he couldn't even get it covered up even after they got married. And so my grandma was married to my grandpa with another lady's name tattooed on his arm. What's the family tea that you found out once you got older? I'll go first. I have a half sister I didn't know about because my grandpa was racist. So about two years ago, my dad uh, sat me aside and had to talk to me about, and he wanted to tell me something that he thought that would shock my opinion, which didn't bother me at all. But I had a half sister I never knew about. I'm gonna explain why my dad wasn't around. My dad was born in uh, the 50s and his grandpa comes from a you know different generation. One we're not too keen on anymore. And uh, he was a farmer from a very small farming town. So before my dad uh, got with my mother, right before, he was hooking up with the only black girl in the whole entire county. This whole area. She was adopted uh, from some fa farming family from my understanding. Um, yeah. Uh, good luck to the video for part two. Did anyone else take an Ancestry DNA test and accidentally uncover a family? So I didn't do it, my sister did it, uh, but we're twins, so I think the answer would have been about the same. Uh, she really wanted to find out some stuff about my mama's family because she passed away a couple years ago and when my mama was little, she was adopted, so she you know, always kind of wanted to know about her family but never got to. When she was trying to find her, I think she was trying to find her mama in like the 90s. Well, the reason she couldn't find her was because in the 80s, the man that she was married to shot her to death. Did anyone else take an Ancestry DNA test and accidentally uncover a family secret? This past summer, my mom got a Facebook message from someone that claimed to be related to my mother's father's side, so my grandpa, and the results came back that said that they were close enough related that they should be first cousins. 
but my grandpa is an only child.